How to test and replace a three-way switch by electrical101.com Now that power is turned off, I'm going to take off the cover. Let's go over a three-way switch wiring now that we have the switch out. At one end of the switch we have the, common, the single common wire, it goes to the black terminal. And at the other end of the switch we have the two travelers that go to the silver colored terminals. Now you'll notice that the common wire is wrapped a couple of times around the travelers. That's a very typical wiring configuration for three-way switches. It makes it very simple when you replace a switch to know where the wires go. Now it doesn't really matter as far as the travelers go which slot they go into. The black wire here can go into this slot or the red wire can go into this. It just doesn't matter as long as the travelers go into the traveler slots. To test the three-way switch Toggle the switch to the up position and place the leads of a continuity tester on the common terminal and one of the traveler terminals. With the switch in the down or other position, place the leads of the continuity tester on the common terminal and the other traveler terminal. Now I'm going to test the switch, see if it's working properly. I have continuity now between this common and this traveler. I do not have continuity to the other side, which I shouldn't. Now I'm going to toggle the switch, and now I should have continuity between the common and this traveler here. No continuity in that one. Now we have continuity there. So this is a working switch. If I do have to replace the switch, notice that the wires are plugged into a push-in connector on the back of the switch. You do have an option of wrapping the wire around each of the terminals, but when they built the house it's just quicker to plug the wires into the uh, push-in connectors. Now it can be a little tricky to pull these wires out, but there's a special way of doing it. You grab the wire, hold on to it while you twist the switch. As you can see it's starting to come out. There you go. So you do that to all your wires and then plug it back in when you're done. When putting the switch back in again, I usually bend the wires at the bottom bend them up again toward the top of the box that allows the wires to fold evenly as you push it back in and we're going to tighten it up just enough so that these tabs rest against the drywall there we go now you can put the cover back on and you're good to go Hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, visit electrical101.com.